All right, YouTube family, hey, the Federal Reserve just raised rates again, another 0.25, another quarter percentage point in the Fed funds rate. And they also indicated that they anticipate that mid-2023 tightening is here, slowdown is here. They do not anticipate that they are gonna raise rates much further. I wanna to talk today with you about the implications of this because over the last couple of days since I shot that last video that you all loved so much, a lot of different things have changed. First things first, I wanna recognize again the same chart that we talked about in my previous video. If you didn't see it, go check it out. This is the chart right now of the total assets the government has. As you guys can see, since the Fed started in, in uh, March of 2022, they started raising rates. Money supply slowly decreased from that point in time. And then of course we talked about how SVB, Silicon Valley Bank, went under and the government had to bail them out and that spiked money supply up. It took away half of all the hard work and effort that they did. The Fed had a tough decision today and this is what this means. They decided either A, do I continue to raise rates and put more banks at risk of defaults and more at risk of potentially more bailouts or B, do we stop raising rates and hope that inflation continues to fall? He chose the first. He's going to continue to be aggressive. Inflation is still higher, but over the last couple of days, a couple interesting things have happened. The first thing I want you to see right now is this chart. It's pretty scary. Does anybody know what this chart is? If you guessed Capital One, this is the Capital One credit default swap. So last time we saw a spike like this, of course, was right in the beginning of the pandemic when all of these banks were in, were in some sort of question mark trouble. Will the government bail them out? The same thing is happening now. Credit default swaps are meant as insurance policies. When these spike, this is telling us that people believe Capital One is in trouble. Do you wanna know the last bank that had a spike like this of credit default swaps? It was Credit Suisse and Credit Suisse was just bought out by another bank just this week. They were bailed out this week. This right here is Capital One. I could go to my wallet right now and find Capital One logos in my wallet. This is affecting lots of you guys, lots of viewers. And what we are trying to assess right now is if the Fed raising rates again is gonna cause more banks to have this happen. The second thing I wanna mention is what other banks are starting to do right now to try to get a little bit more confidence in the market. SoFi Bank, will this start happening with other banks? I'm not sure, but SoFi Bank is now allowing and offering FDIC insurance up to $2 million. This is not seen before. This is the first bank to do this. My guess is this might be the domino that begins to fall in for more banks. Why I say this is this. Right now, a lot of people are like, man, is my money safe? All these banks are starting to have trouble. Is my money safe? Is my deposit safe? Especially people that have millions and millions of dollars in the bank, they're not FDIC insured. SoFi right now is saying, hey, you put your money with us, we're gonna insure you up to $2 million in your savings or checking account. Now how they're doing this is by partnering up like a snowball with 12 different banks. All they do is they say, hey, we will insure you up to $2 million. But in reality, what is happening is they're then opening subsequent accounts for you at the partner bank. So you give them a million bucks, they're gonna hold on to a quarter million in SoFi, and then they're gonna dish out a quarter million bucks to three other banks on your behalf that you're still going to have only one account to see the access for all these. This is all perception control. Right now, what they are trying to do is control the perception that your money is safe, banks are safe. We just saw Janet Yellen just this week also mention that they expect any sort of trouble, any sort of um, yeah, turmoil that's happening right now with rate hikes going up, that they will create a backdrop or a backstop for FDIC and they will bail out the banks if needed. Guys, the reason this is so important is this one more time. If we see more bailouts happen, all the hard work of the Fed through quantitative, quantitative tightening, raising rates, all the stuff that you guys saw happen the last eight or 12 months, excuse me, all for nothing. Because what you're gonna see is money supply go up, it still won't solve the issue. They're then gonna have to start reducing rates. And then when they start reducing rates, now the economy gets hotter. 
Some of you guys listening to this right now are not buying houses, you're not buying cars, you're not buying boats, you're not buying things like that because you don't want to borrow money at six, seven, eight, nine, ten percent, whatever it is. If they have to switch their plan right now, their plan is to pause rates through 2023 and potentially in early 2024 slightly reduce rates. If they have to switch that to become more aggressive and reduce rates earlier, we're going to start spending money again because it's going to be a flood to borrow money cheaper than what we've seen. And what will that do to inflation? As you guys can see, the pickle is back. As always, guys, last video, you guys shared all your comments. It was amazing to see. If you like videos like this, click the like button. This is what is happening right now, today. And this is timely information. Also, in the comment section, type out what you learned. What's your biggest takeaway? What do you think is going on? What do you think will happen? And of course, as always, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe for future content. We appreciate you so much, and we will see you on the next video.